Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. And this is going to be covering love, money, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in here, Leo. We're first going to look at your romantic love life, then we're look at career and finance, and then we're going to look at what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help with your situation. And again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going on by Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards, my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Leo's career and finance. For now until the end of July. Show my cards as you see. Check the cards I need to see. All right, Leo, let's take a look. All right, I'm going to deal out the nine cards here. Okay, this is going to be a very specific message. All right, so you know that old commercial, oh my goodness. The one where they were like, Ricola, like they were on top of the mountain. <laughs> okay. So mountains represents obstacles, delays, challenges, delays, or it could even be a mountain. Okay. So we talk about the symbolism of that. So someone really wants to call out to you and let you know that they've overcome some kind of delay. The delays are about to be over. That's what I feel like. There's, you've reached the, the, the pinnacle, the top of the mountain, and the delays, are, those challenges and delays are about to be over, okay? So, yep, we see Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck for you, Leo. So you guys are going to have to make a decision coming up with the Two of Wands energy, all right? It feels like you're digging deep into a situation, maybe deeper than you expect it. Let's go to my Leo's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards my Leo's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards my Leo's Career and Finance. For now until the end of July, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so, yep, you're gonna receive some kind of positive turn of events in your romantic love life here. Let's see more information here, Leo. What's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life? Now until the end of July, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Leah, let's take a look. Yeah, someone is going to be a little bit frustrated because you have to make a choice. You have a decision to make coming up for your romantic love life, but someone is trying to push you into making that decision. I hear a train in the background, so there could be a faraway energy. All right, what's going to have my Leo's romantic love life now to the end of July? Show my cards you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, it's time. <laughs> so do, um, there's somebody you have very strong chemistry and passion with, or there could be a decision being made. Somebody that's really pushing it because they're really interested in some passion exercises. Okay, let's keep going here. So I feel like someone's like going back over things and looking at the finer details of this. We have the Eight of Pentacles energy, which talks about work or money, putting their money where their mouth is, because they're trying to be loyal and devoted to you, Leo. Okay, let's keep going. You know, they want your attention. The Peacock card's coming out. Notice me, look at me, right? You're like, you're the wisest decision for me, Leo, when it comes to the long term. Okay. This, I feel like there's going to be some kind of celebration, having a good time. That may cause some regrets here coming up. Five of Cups energy. Someone's like, oh my God, I was so foolish about this. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so somebody really definitely wants emotional security here in this connection with you. Uh, and they want to reconcile, they want to heal, they want to fix this con con um this connection okay so I feel like there has been a situation where somebody's been leaving with passion 
And uh, so this person's like, no, I don't want that. I want something more serious. I, I want you to know that I, I don't want to just be that just side piece. I want to be more than just the side piece, okay? I want to be like the whole shebang, okay? I want to be that person uh, for the long term. So I really want to fix this. I want to reconcile. I want to move forward with a long term commitment. Yep. They're like, I want you, Leo. I can't stop thinking about you. Let's lay down all the cards for this too. All right, so someone really wants to protect this connection. Okay, someone really wants to protect this connection. You're gonna be really shocked and surprised how they come forward to you guys, okay? I see Page of Cups. Someone's, um, contacting you, telling you how much they love you. There, you could also be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy at work. They're in a sense of despair here, desperate to get your attention. Because of these indecisions, like someone feels like they're hot and cold, you're not, you're in or out, they don't know where they stand with you. I see there's a uh, divine timing happening here for you guys with the Wheel of Fortune energy, luck. Hmm. Someone's going to criticize a situation here. A friend, it looks like. About the timing of this. Because of money and finance. A friend at work. So someone's going to criticize this situation. Like the timing of it. They're like, well, this is really interesting timing, isn't it? Don't you think? So I see a strong temptation here with the devil card energy. Okay, someone's definitely trying to, someone's trying to get you alone, okay? They're trying to get you alone in a room, okay? This is the private room, the private alone room, okay? And uh, yeah, they want you to put on a different role, play a different hat there, okay? Put on a different, yeah, the, the card itself says you will be playing a different role, right? And it, the card itself says hat, okay? So we see commitment, engage in marriage, and concern about going around in circles here. Okay, let's keep going here, Leo. Okay, so someone is trying to take romantic gestures toward you with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They want to, to do things for you. What, is, what does it mean with the, the Knight of Cups? Just let's talk about Knight of Cups. Okay, let me buy you some flowers. Can I come over and make you some dinner? Can I fix your screen door? You know, I don't need my screen door fixed, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's like, I wanna do something for you. Like, come on, let me do something for you. Cause uh, I wanna slow things down. I wanna take it slow. And I'm concerned about other people around you, Leo. So, you know, I wanna make sure, you know, you're serious about this. I know you're spiritually connected here. We have a divine connection here. All right, so far, what do we got? This passionate situation coming in for you guys, which is going to be shocking and surprising about the fact that this person wants to take it and go, uh, you know, there's a shocking, passionate situation, but it's like the sense, somebody here is like, I just don't want it to just be passion. I want it to be something serious. I'm at a crossroads. I, I want to heal the situation. And this could be somebody that you work with. There could be a work situation around this or something about money and finance around this. Okay. So at the end of the month here, you are at a crossroads. You're like, all right, I, got, I could go this way, I could go that way. I got choices to make here. But there's like a lot of worry over nothing here in this situation. You're getting a lot of attention, Leo. Okay, you're getting very noticed. People are noticing you. And we see there's a healing energy, someone who wants to bring things into balance. So you have a decision to make this, this month, okay, the rest of this month. And uh, well, you're trying to figure out what's going to be the best decision for you to long term. And you have two choices. And it could be something about the situation, a shocking work situation coming up here in a passionate way. Okay? And someone who wants to reconcile with you. Okay. So, you got some decisions to make. Yep. I see getting a lot of attention. Isolation or separation. And we see new love coming in. We see sh the stress and worry about these delays and challenges in healing this connection. We see a relationship and someone feels bad, they wanna invest time, you gotta make a decision very soon. There's an offer being presented here for family long-term, okay? 
someone's like really trying to pressure you uh, to protect the situation, to put you in a different role, you get a lot of attention. We see there's this work and moving slowly towards emotional security and some criticisms about this worry. Um, receiving something of value worth and someone gives thoughts about, I want to spend some alone time with you. There's loyalty and devotion and a sense of despair over an infringing party and a sense of foolishness and this friend who um, wants to get your attention. This decision that you want, we see a strong temptation coming in and we see this work and effort of this love message and romantic gestures because someone has regrets about what happened. And they're like, it's time, you know, the timing is right, but you're at a crossroads whether or not you want to reconcile with that person. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice from my Leo when it comes to romantic love life for their highest, best good? What's the best possible outcome for them? What should they do? Now until the end of July, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. As I told you from what I felt with uh, what I came into your reading, your obstacles and blockages in your romantic love life are lifted. So adapt to these changes and get ready for powerful, big changes, guys. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of people coming towards you. That's for sure. We saw like the one person was like, it looks like both people are interested in something long term. Okay, so for the Korean finance, you are getting some advice, possibly from Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. You may be doing a lot of contemplation about what do we, what do you want to do? You know, emotionally, the work and career finance stuff may, could be trying on you like, all right, well, you know, emotionally I want to be fulfilled, but you know, I need to make a decision here. Just talks about just choice, just decision or something legal going on here. Looks like you guys, again, you're getting a lot of attention. Six of Wands energy, getting recognition, getting noticed. But you gotta play some politics here or there's gonna be some issues when it comes to your long-term emotional happiness. All right, let's keep going here. Cause there's something about this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So there's a sigh of relief here and a hopefulness of this advice. Let's go down the layer here. Let's have my Leo's career in finance. Now until the end of July, show my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. So definitely you're achieving something here, Leo. And you're very emotional about this, right? You're emotionally invested. There's a strong stability around this. And I, I see you're fixing this with politics and you're socializing here to deal with this when it comes to this new obligation, fresh start or naivete. You're trying to bring things into balance. There's some major changes coming in and you're like, wow, this situation feels like destiny. You make some kind of impulsive decision based on your creativity and your passions because of this concern about losing out on a situation. You're like, all right, I need to bring this into harmony. There's something about this contract, this commitment, and good news you get. And you're like, yes, this is what I wanted. And you finally get the clarity and you're like, okay, now I can put on this show and listen to my gut on this and take these actions I need to take. Okay, so you got major changes, major achievements coming up. Major achievements come up your career in finance and it's, it's gonna be exactly what you want. You're just gonna make the right moves coming up. You're gonna play the right politics here and it's gonna put you in the right uh, way of things here in your career in finance, Leo. All right, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Leos when it comes to their career in finance for the highest, best, for the best possible outcome for them? What should they do? Now until the end of July, show my cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see. See, I told you, you're on the right path, Leo. Okay? Just go with the flow on this. You got this. You got this. Put your boundaries in place. Stand your ground. You know, let go of judgment on this situation. Just follow your heart on this. Yep. You got this in your nature. You got this. Okay? You got this. All right. Let's see what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you. 
What does Leo need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know? Them now until the end of July. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Leo, let's take a look. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become reality. Yes. What is the most important thing in this world with anything that we do? Intentions. Okay? That's the most important thing. I talk about that in my class, actually. Um, because if our intentions are pure, then it's going to, it's going to move s smoothly. Okay? That's something that I've known since, since I was younger, intuitively. I just knew that I had to have good intentions. That if I had good intentions, that things would work out. Right? Because intentions are important in this universe because it's where our focus goes. So just have good intentions, okay? And have faith that all is going to work out. Align yourself with that. So whatever you want to do, make sure that's your intentions. You know how you like, okay, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. That means when you do something, like let's say you, you go, you're at work, right? And you're like, you're looking at the clock, you're like, oh, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Mm hmm. You're looking at that clock, you're like, I wanna go home. It's time to go home. Right. But if you turned around and you put the intentions into just doing the work, right? So if you put the intentions into doing the work, you will be amazed at how fast the time will go, right? So, because your focus now is putting it into the work and you, you put all your intentions, all your focus into that work. And then you look at the clock, you're like, oh my God, look what time it is. Look what time it is. I'm ready to go home, okay? So, everything that we do, we need to put our full focus and our full intentions into it, our full concentration, because that's another thing too. Like, uh, we should constantly, with all of our interactions, be consciously aware of the intentions that we're, like, every time you got that voice in the head, like, da 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 you know? And uh, you have to be cognizant of that in your intentions when you're dealing with people. Okay, so having good intentions. So let's talk about this, all right? When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. There you go again. Surrendering to the universe because that's part of our higher purpose, right? What we do for others and we have good intentions. This comes back to us when it comes to manifestation. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. That's what I always say. I like, I follow the, the will of the universe at this point. Free, we have free will. You can either follow the free will or, or what they call uh, the will of God, right? So at this point in my life, from my understanding of things, I follow the, 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 the will of God or the will of the universe or whatever you want to call the force. So I just follow that will. And I see where is that going to take me? Let my destiny be revealed to me. Uh, of course, uh, um, being intuitive, you get information, of course, and you kind of know, okay, this is the bigger picture. This is where I'm going to go to, but how I get there, we'll see. We'll let the universe decide, like, okay, am I going to go this direction? Am I going to go that direction? Am I going to this direction? You follow those intuitive nudges until you get to your destiny, until you get where you need to go. So try that this month. Try setting your intentions and being cognizant of uh, you know, being more cognizant of the reality and being like when, let's say for instance, if you're having a conversation with somebody, you know, most times we're like, we're always thinking about what am I going to say next? But instead actively listen to that person, have good intentions and say, you know, I'm just going to listen to what they have to say. And then I'm just going to just like be an active listener and have good intentions towards that. And I'm going to wish people well in my intentions, right? And I'm going to put full amount of effort in my intentions. So try doing that this month, the rest of this month. And, and see where the universe takes you. See where those nudges go. Like whenever you get those little nudges, like, man, I should help that person out. See if you help that person out. See where that leads you to. 
and then see if you do that, see where that leads you to. Try to follow those nudges and see where they go. You can also be more cognizant as well if you start remembering your dreams, or writing down all of your dreams and stuff because we're not, we're, all, our body only has to go to sleep at night. Our consciousness doesn't have to go to sleep at night. Actually, every time we go to sleep, these are practices to when we actually die. So this is a good time for us to kind of get an understanding of what's gonna happen and what to be expected. And these are practice runs, okay? So, because we don't, we, we're limitless beings, okay? We just think that we are limited beings. We're unlimited beings. So we just have to start learning how to wield our reality. All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. You don't, guys don't have to take my advice if you don't want to. You know you have your own inner guru, own inner guidance. We all do. We all have that, that uh, compass within us. It's just a matter of just listening to it, you know? It's like when I was younger, I didn't understand the signs. And as you get more life experience, you understand it more and more and more. And don't shy away from life experience because that gives you wisdom. The more wisdom you have, the more you can help others and the more you have a better understanding of this reality because you're raising your consciousness level. All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.